All right, so now we're going to make our splash screen actually uh, forward over to this screen. And the way we want to do this is uh, under the Java folder, we want to double click on splash, and that's going to give us this screen right here. And under public splash, public class splash rather, extends activity, we need to add a couple lines. And the first one will be private final int duration equals 3000, which is milliseconds. So three seconds is how long we want that splash sec, uh, that splash image to show. You can adjust that however you wish. Uh, obviously, you don't want it to be too long because then it'll become increasingly annoying. So uh, private thread and then m splash thread. All right. So not entirely too important to understand exactly what's going on here. It's basically creating a variable that says uh, the duration is 3,000 seconds, and then we're creating a new thread here. And then underneath here, where it says public void on create, and underneath set content view, our layout activity splash, we're going to put in, and I'm going to paste some code here, and I'll try to remember to, you know, make that accessible as well so you don't have to sit there typing line by line. Um, so what I'm going to be pasting here is this code right here. Select classes to import, just hit OK. All right, so we're going to have to make some adjustments to this, but uh, let's see here. So basically it's setting msplash thread, new thread, and then public void run. This is, I uh, what we're going to do is try, is wait duration, that's up here, it's in reference to here, and then finish, and then intent new intent is this is the uh, the intent or the activity that we want to have it forward to essentially and mine is not called my activity it's main very simple and make sure you save that and by the way, I, I didn't really discuss how to set up emulators. If you don't have an Android phone, I, like you said, I'm going to include the links uh, in terms of how to set that up. But if you wanted to set it up uh, real quickly, you click on this AVD manager. And uh, under Android Virtual Devices, you can hit Create. Here's one I already created, so I'll just hit Edit. It'll show you the, uh, the specs that I set up. Of course, you can change the devices and all this stuff. I uh, use host GPU, hit OK. And I, when you go ahead to hit play, you would choose, instead of choose a running device, you would choose launch emulator, and then it has your emulator name that you chose, and then you'd hit OK. Now, something to remember is sometimes it can be very slow, so uh, it could take literally five to 10 minutes in order for the app and the phone actually to load up. So that's why I choose to run uh, a, a, choose a running device because it's a lot faster in my opinion. Um, I believe there are ways to really speed it up, so I'm going to look into that and, and also include that as a link to the resource file. Uh, so what I'm doing here, I'm looking at my phone uh, and we'll hope that it will work. Yes, it does. So it shows it for three seconds and then it forwards us off to the main area uh, where it has our layout. All right, so I, if I come back here, let's go to activity main. I'm going to collapse this real quick. I did kind of notice that I, this was up a little bit too high, so I'm just gonna, oops, I'm gonna pull it down to the base there. And it also did work when I clicked on it, I pressed on it, it changed to the, uh, the down state as well. So that's good. Um, the text, though, was not as large as I wanted it to be. So if you ran into that same issue, uh, you can change the uh, text size. One second. Right here to, uh, where it says text size. I'm going to choose uh, 65 pixels. And it makes it a little bit larger. And also, we want to make sure that this is centered uh, when we view it. So what we'll do is add a couple things uh, in the XML. So uh, the text view is right here. What we want to do is put in 
Android layout underscore center vertical equals true. Android layout center horizontal equals true. And then another one, which would be Android gravity equals center. And then another one, Android text alignment equals center. Oops. All right, so what we want to do now is I'm going to hit play and run this to make sure everything uh, looks smooth. Okay, so I just paused and I uh, ran that, and I still noticed a couple issues. For one, it's aligning this to the uh, the beginning of this quote fuel, and you can see that reflected if you go to layout align component and drop that down. You'll see left left image view two. So if we just go into uh, here, get rid of the align left and align start right there, and now it doesn't do that anymore. Also, oops. I think I in, insert a new item by accident. Uh, also, if we take this, it still wasn't large enough for my liking, so we can always just go to uh, the pixels. I'm gonna change it to 80. And really, it doesn't look this big when it's on the screen. Uh, so that looks uh, pretty much better. So I'm gonna run that again just to make sure everything is good. All right, so there's still a couple things I want to fix about this. Uh, I noticed that this background right here uh, the, the diagonal lines was a little bit too bright. So you can give it opacity or transparency. So that is would be right here under individual view uh, where it says drawable BG. We can put Android alpha equals zero point maybe four, which is 40% of its original brightness. Uh, and then another thing, I don't want to center it perfectly in terms of uh, vertical, uh, it was being it, it ended up looking a little bit too close to the button. So I'm going to get rid of this as well. So now it's just layout center horizontal is true. We go back here to design, and I notice once again that the 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 font size still is not big enough to my liking. So I'm going to put in 95 here. Hit enter. Oops, cancel. And there we go, that should be a lot better. Um, what I wanna do now is just put in statically um, the like a, an actual quote. Uh, so to do that, I'm gonna load up, or get up Photoshop rather, and I'm gonna open up my uh, the file that we had going here. Um, so let me see here, main UI. I just kind of forget what the slogan is, so I just wanna copy that text real quickly. Um, so that's right here. Oops, just copy that, come down here in the text, and the text view has the uh, the ID, or large text, there we go. All right. So now that looks terrible, but we'll see what this actually looks like when, we're, when we run it, I run it on the phone. Okay, so I, I looked at it and it looks 100% better. It does not look anything like this, fortunately. It's not overlapping. That's just because it's not rendering the text right. It's not using the font, um, etc. cetera. So uh, there's no worry there. Um, so yeah, now in the next lesson, what we're gonna do is uh, step outside of uh, Android Studio and we're gonna set up the database because now that we have the design working, the splash image working, uh, what we're going to do is set up our MySQL database structure for storing the quotes. All right, so I'll see you then.